Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 8, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Get your free trial copy of the new currency exchange planner, the number one must-have tool for Denarians for pre and post RV planning. Link is in the description below. Fill out the registration and an email will be sent with the special access link. Mention the Denarian and get 20% off the full Unleash Planner. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert, and know we all cross the finish line together. I would like to take a moment to mention, I post different articles of interest throughout the day in the community section on our channel as well, be sure to go check those out when you get a chance as well as follow me on Twitter as I post there as well throughout the day. Let's get started. First article of interest. Including electronic payment companies. Specialists consider successful companies a key to support reform. A number of specialists in economic affairs unanimously agreed on the necessity of moving the wheel of the Iraqi economy at this stage and you can benefit from the successful companies that have proven their presence in the industry, finance and agriculture sector, up to the tourism aspects that are always oil. Capital The financial affairs specialist Ghazi al Ghanani said that the financial sector represents the cornerstone for the development of the national economy, as it has the most important elements of success represented by financing which requires an effective banking system that has advanced technology capable of dealing with the major capitals required by the stage of development, especially that the reality of electronic payment has evolved a lot in Iraq during the past 10 years after the great cooperation between the Central Bank of Iraq and the global company for smart card, which represents a mixed sector between the public and the private has proven its existence and can be supportive of the national economy. Business Completion he added that the presence of high flow and payments within Iraq by adopting advanced electronic methods is an important step, which facilitates work and contributes to the completion of business in its time, and encourages the activation of the labor market in all its joints, and this is very important. For his part, the economist on behalf of Al Musawi said that industrial experiments at more than one industrial joint have proven their existence but they need the support of the public sector, which is to establish a database of local factories, and work to protect them and provide an environment for their development and the development of other counterparts to them, especially that Iraq has good experience in the artificial joint. Potential Riches He added that, expanding the base of industrial production is very important and is the gateway to the true development of the country as industries can be established that invest the latent wealth that covers the country's need and exports surplus to global markets, and here it is possible to use the international effort that owns advanced technology and capital and make it a catalyst for these industries as the economic gathering in the country knows the desire of major international companies to enter the local labor market and obtain opportunities to invest and be present strongly. He pointed out that successful industrial experiments from them can be used to activate the reality of other companies, as we have acceptable directions in food industries such as water and juices, and we have companies that have the ability to meet local demand, and that the dairy industry in Abu Ghraib and other factories are ready to cover the proportion of great market need. International Companies In turn, the specialist in tourism affairs, Hassan al Adun emphasized that the tourism sector represents a major focus of work that accommodates a large segment of the unemployed, if not all of them, as tourism creates direct and indirect job opportunities in the sector and other sectors. And that, Iraq lacks the promotion of its tourism reality, and this requires cooperation with specialized international tourism companies and contracting with them in a way that achieves mutual benefit as well as intensification of media promotion internationally to make the largest segment of the world's tourists know what is in Iraq from the sites from which human knowledge originated and the oldest civilizations. He pointed out that our country has tourist sites of interest to most of the world's population, which makes it a kiss for millions of tourists annually from different parts of the earth, which requires us to work on developing this sector with all our strength 
especially since the job opportunities in this field are constantly renewable and can absorb large numbers of young people, professionals, investors and all employers at all levels. Next article of interest. The region reveals its share in the budget of 2020, including the salaries of the Peshmerga. Kurdistan region revealed its share of the federal budget for 2020. The head of the Kurdistan government's representative in Baghdad, Faris Issa, said in a press statement that the final agreement reached by the Kurdish delegation with the federal government provides for the delivery of the region 250,000 barrels per day to SOMO company in exchange for granting Kurdistan 12.6% of the federal budget includes the Beshmerga salaries. He denied the validity of the news regarding the agreement with Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi before submitting his resignation to hand over the region 22% of the budget. He added that the implementation of this agreement will take place if the budget for the coming year 2020 is approved. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Finance. We will receive the 2020 budget from the government soon, and it will approve the beginning of next year. The Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed, Sunday, that the caretaker government will send a draft budget law next year soon and it will be completed as soon as possible for the purpose of presenting it to Parliament for a vote, likely to pass it at the beginning of next year. Member of the committee, Rep. Rod Hussein, said in a statement to Information that the Finance Committee in the House of Representatives has received notifications from the government that it will send the draft budget bill 2020 to Parliament soon. Hussein added, the committee has completed its full readiness to discuss the budget chapters and it will work to complete it within a very short time for the purpose of presenting it to vote, suggesting that its approval will take place early next year. It is noteworthy that the government voted on the draft budget law before transferring it to a caretaker government, and thus will be obligated to send it to Parliament in accordance with the Financial Management Law No. 6 of 2019. Next article of interest, al Jawahiri. The elimination of the budget deficit is very thorny. The consultant in industrial development and investment, Amr al Jawahiri, on Sunday ruled out overcoming the budget deficit pointing out that there are many sums that must be controlled, especially in border crossings, in addition to restarting factories to absorb the unemployed instead of overburdening the state budget with new jobs. al Jawahiri said in a statement to Alma Aluma that eliminating the budget deficit is very thorny since it has been in place since past years, in addition to that the problem still exists and there are no solutions to diversify the sources of economic support and the state budget. He added that every talk about reducing the percentage of the deficit by increasing taxes and fees is only a small percentage, noting that transferring part of the investment budget and transferring it to the operational budget does not eliminate the deficit rate indicating that the government must focus on expenses to benefit from salaries the bodies that were suspended from work, especially the governorate councils, and then searching for the joints of the country that has exaggerated expenses. He pointed out the importance of benefiting from reducing the retirement age and supporting factories and factories and restarting them through the amounts available from this new law as these projects can absorb hundreds of thousands of unemployed people, as providing job grades by reducing the retirement age is not the best solution. al Jawahiri stressed the need to take advantage of the revenues of the border outlets, as the amounts that are collected are less than the reality and there are outlets that are not subject to the authority of Baghdad, and therefore there are large sums that do not fall within the state budget and if they are controlled they will fill part of the deficit that is still unknown in the budget 2020. Next article of interest. Report. The rise in Iraq's cash reserves to $63 billion. The British newspaper The National confirmed on Sunday that, according to the report of the International Finance Institute, widespread corruption, weak regulatory framework and poor business environment prevent the growth of the private sector in Iraq noting that Iraq's reserves have risen to $63.6 billion. The report, which was translated by the information agency, 
stated that the current political instability and the continuing turmoil in Iraq could lead to a reduction in the gross domestic product of oil for the fourth quarter of this year, and that the continuing political uncertainty and demonstrations in Iraq could cripple the country's economy really fragile. He added that, according to the estimates of the World Bank, the damages of the war against ISIS in Iraq amounted to $46 billion, while the reconstruction process requires $23 billion, in addition to $65 billion over the next five years, thus bringing the total cost to about $88 billion. The report continued, the ongoing internal political instability in Iraq and the possible elections without clear winners could lead to significant delays in reconstruction and a vacuum in power that gives way to revitalizing armed terrorist groups and further deterioration in the financial situation may lead to overstepping the private sector credit and paying public debt to intolerable levels, and domestic instability means that foreign flows intended for reconstruction have not materialized, and low oil prices have weakened the external position of Iraq, which has put pressure on official reserves. The report stated that, while official reserves are still sufficient at $63.6 billion in September of 2019, the Iraqi economy is controlled by 160 ineffective state-owned enterprises that employ a large proportion of the workforce outside the oil industry. The report said that widespread corruption, a weak regulatory framework and a poor work environment prevent the development of the private sector, job creation and foreign investment flows. He pointed out that, the increase in the wage bill undermines the financial situation of Iraq. It is expected to rise by 18% in the next year, and its share of total expenditures will rise to 52%, or 17% of GDP. Since oil revenue accounts for 90% of total government revenue, low oil prices and poor tax collection can turn the country's financial balance from a small surplus in 2018 to a deficit of 4% of GDP this year. Next article of interest work determines the date for the disbursement of accumulated salaries for full-time appointees. The Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs has set, on Sunday, the 15th of this December a date for disbursing the accumulated salaries of full-time appointees for the past three years. The Minister of Labor, Bassam Abdal Zaman, said in a statement that the official al Saban newspaper reported to him and learned about it, the information that his ministry has set the 15th of the current month of December as the date for the disbursement of accumulated salaries to beneficiaries with disabilities for the past three years, 2016, 2017 and 2018 in Baghdad and the provinces of the country and through the MasterCard card. Abdul Zaman added that his ministry is working to advance this segment and provide the best services to it in order to improve their social and living reality, which will make them active actors in society. He called on the beneficiaries to review the exchange outlets in order to receive their due starting from the middle of this month. Abdul Zaman pointed to continuous coordination with the relevant authorities in order to obtain the sums for the disbursement of their dues especially after intensifying efforts to serve the handicapped and those with needs in order to meet their needs. People with disabilities in society, especially since the authority is supported by a special budget and programs that will improve the reality of this segment if it is organized in a correct way. Next article of interest. Saleh and Blashard assert the necessity of arresting the perpetrators of the attack on the Al-Kulani protesters. Today, President of the Republic Baram Salih received at the Peace Palace in Baghdad, the special representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations in Iraq, Janine Hens Black Shard. During the meeting, according to the statement of the Presidency of the Republic, which was received by al News, deliberation was reached on the current conditions the country is going through and ways of possible solutions that help protect the security and stability of Iraq and the aspirations of the people for reform. It was stressed, the right of citizens to demonstrate freely and freely, and the responsibility of the state's competent bodies to work to protect peaceful demonstrators, preserve the state's public security, citizens' rights and property, and not allow chaos and everything that could distort the peaceful nature of the demonstrations.
In this regard, it was also emphasized that the horrific crime that targeted the demonstrators last Friday and the victims of which were martyrs and wounded carried out by outlaw gangs generally targeted the security and stability of the country, and in both cases it is necessary to intensify and strengthen security measures and arrest the perpetrators of the crime and refer them to a fair judiciary and work accurately he took care to prevent the repetition of this heinous criminal act. On the political track, the meeting dealt with the constitutional mechanisms and political action required for the speedy completion of the legal legislation necessary for reform and for the holding of fair elections, as well as procedures for selecting an appropriate candidate to head the Council of Ministers for the next stage. Next article of interest. Canada sponsors a conference for the reconstruction of Iraq and Baghdad. Next Wednesday, the capital, Baghdad will hold a conference for the reconstruction of Iraq under Canadian auspices. The organizer said in a statement, received by Economy News, that the organization of the World Service University in Canada, WUSC, and the Canadian Leaders Company for International Consulting CLIC will hold the activities of the launching conference for the reconstruction of Iraq through development, growth and employment, next Wednesday morning at the Babylon Hotel. He added, the Canadian ambassador and a number of officials in the Ministry of Labour and Social Affairs will attend the conference, in addition to representatives of international missions and local and international organizations. Like subscribe to be alerted as breaking news unfolds from Iraq. Your free trial copy of the new currency exchange planner is waiting in the description box below. Register to get the special access email with the download link. Enter the discount code, the Denarian and get 20% off the full unleashed version. Stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, and know that today we are one day closer than yesterday, over and out for now, the Denarian.